All right, so I had one uh, thing left to do, which was to burn a ROM that would operate on the um, 8085 board, uh, the uh, Sergei uh, Kislev design single board 8085 computer. Um, it has um, a little bit different addressing scheme. It has ROM that goes from 0 to um, 7FFF, so um, 32K. And then it has RAM, also 32K, that goes from 8,000 to FFFF. So half ROM, half RAM, ROM at the bottom, RAM at the top. So all you have to do to the ASM file is to change the location of the RAM um, to uh, top of FFFF. And then all you have to do is change the location of the 8251. Um, the 8251 is set up at addresses 8 and 9. So 8 is data, and 9 is status and control. And the you don't have to do anything about an 8253. Uh, the clock is also is generated on board. And it's set up to automatically, well, you can, you can set it up several ways, but I have it set it up at uh, 19.2 kilobaud. And... Um, yeah, that's all you have to do. Change, change the RAM pointer and change the address of the 8251. Um, remove any references to an 8253, and away you go. So it's very, very easy. Um, so we'll hit the reset button, and we get the system monitor again. So we'll just kind of play, play through this. Um, I should have added... Uh, since it has a lot of ROM, I should have added a, a few other features that I had, but it doesn't fit into 4K. If you want it to fit into 4K, then you have to keep it stripped down. But if you want to add, I used to have a help command, uh, you type H, and you get the help command. Um, so I think I'll maybe add that back in here to the 8085. I should probably also change the uh, sign-on message to 8085 instead of 8080. Anyway, we can go through the different um, uh uh, different things that it has. Uh, you hit A, you get address, and you can go to zero. And then if you hit the space bar, you'll just kind of go through uh, addresses. Uh, if you hit the minus, you'll go backwards. And if you type a number, it will replace what's there with what you've typed in. Since this is ROM, it wouldn't work. Uh, but if we went to, say, um, address um, 8000, and uh, there's some stuff there. So let's let's go to uh, 20, and we'll put in a new value, 55. And then if we back up, you see that 55 is in there. So that's the way you can search around. If you hit Control C, you're back out. A, B, C, D, dump. You can dump hex. You can dump symbolic. We'll see. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, fill. You can fill, say, uh, 8,000 to 8,100. You can fill that with uh, 44. Yes. So now if we say uh, dump hex. Oops, sorry. My alarm for erasing UV prompts just went off. Um, so if we heck, jump hex, 8,000 to 8,100, it's all 44. Okay, uh, fill a uh, G go to if you wrote a program you can you can go to the go to that location. Uh, H I J jump. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between go to and jump. Uh, uh, J K L load. I think you can load hex. So you can load a hex Intel hex file. Load symbolic 8000 you can do something like uh oh let's say out um zero nine zero 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 nine there we go so if we then say dump hex eight thousand eight ten they get a d309 which is the out instruction and the nine so you, you can kind of write little programs in line, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see here, uh, JKLM, 
move, you can move one block of memory to another block of memory. So you, you specify a from and a, uh, from and a two, I mean, uh, a start and a, and a finish, and then a, and a two. So it takes your start and moves it to two. Um, move uh, M N O P punch hex. So if you say uh, zero 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 ten pause, and then you hit spacebar, it'll actually create an Intel hex uh, file um, that you can save. Uh, P Q R register, register A. Let's see, register examine modify A. So the A register currently is zero zero. Uh, register examine modify B. Register dump or register display D. So those are all the registers what they're set to. Uh, Q R S T test. Test memory. Oops, I didn't do that right. Test zero, 8100. Okay, yes. So the memory tested okay. Uh, test UV verify. Mm, I think it, mm, not quite sure. I think you can have one block of memory and a different block of memory and see if they both match. Um, B W X X X uh, X get you back. Y and Z zap is, is a fill command of zero, so you can say zap. Okay, dump, dump hex. Oops, dump hex. Eight thousand eight hundred. So it's all zeros now. Anyway, there you go. Um, so uh, I'll put. Um, I have a GitHub site where I have the CPM version. I've uploaded the um, Intel 8020-4 version, and I'll upload this version. Um, so they're all up there for you.